Hello, Scorpios. This is you versus them for the 29th through February 4th, okay? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. All right, let's see what's going on for you guys currently here. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Something has sparked your interest, for sure. Um, I feel like you guys have extended an offer to somebody um, either to start something new or to restart something here. Okay. Let's see what's going on for the other person currently. Hmm. Eight of Swords. Somebody's worried. Somebody's concerned. Um, maybe they see that you guys are starting over without them here. But it's like they are trapped in their own thoughts and fears here. Um, but of course, they can get out of it. So if they feel like you guys are moving on, then I feel like there's something that they can do about it. But they're currently feeling like there's not. Okay. Like they're worrying themselves into um, a tizzy here. Okay. Let's see what's keeping you from this person. What's interfering here? What's the interference? Five of Pentacles. Either you feel rejected by this person or they feel rejected by you. Feeling like um, somebody was not willing to or is not willing to um, work together here. That um, is kind of one-sided. Somebody's, you know, giving more than the other person is, willing to be there for the other person regardless, but the other one's not. Hmm. Somebody's feeling kind of hurt, whether it's you or the other person. Let's see what the interference is on their end over here. The Nine of Pentacles. Huh. This is all about self, all about gaining one's confidence, um, focused on, you know, spending time basically on themselves, not, not concerning themselves with anyone, anyone else here. I feel as though one of you probably wanted to be single. Hmm. And I'm feeling like it's this person over here that thought they wanted to be single, but now it's like they're not so sure about it. Did they make the right decision here? Probably left you guys feeling um, hurt and rejected. Gemini Virgo energy over here. They thought they were doing themselves a service by deciding to be single. And I don't see that they are feeling so confident in that right now. They're rethinking this, okay? Let's see what your influence is over here on Scorpios. Hmm. I think you guys are building on something. I think that... Um, it's probably a new business that you guys have started because I feel like when this person left that they they probably had more of the financial security on their end. And so not only did you feel hurt and rejected, but it also, um, you know, it hurt your pocket. Maybe you guys lived together and when they left, you were left with all the bills and and you know all the financial things related to um, things that you guys had together or acquired while you while you were together even so I think that you know you're really on like this this business endeavor right now on this side trying to build something you're working with people probably um, spending your time devoting your time to people but it's also like you're building upon something here, okay? Capricorn, Taurus, energy over here with some fire. 
let's see what their influence is. What is their influence over here? Hmm. This person having, they're having like major second thoughts about leaving you. Walking out on you. And now they're being faced. They're faced with their own decision that they made. And they're hurt by it. Because I feel like they know exactly what they did to you. Okay. They know. If you feel like they don't, if you guys haven't spoken, they know. Okay. Let's see what's blocking you. The Empress here. What's blocking you from them? Because that's what this block is for. It's the fact that you are concentrating on yourself. You're trying to, it's like you're growing and I feel like you're outgrowing them is the thing. I feel like a lot of you guys, like I said, there, there's a business, um, there's a business venture that you're on. I feel like you guys have a family. Maybe you are a single parent with children. And I feel like right now you're just trying to build your legacy. Um, I think you guys have the key to your growth. Nobody else does. Nobody else has a hand in that. Um, I feel like there's something you're very passionate about. I feel like you guys are gorgeous. Um, not just on the exterior, but inside. I feel like you care for people. Like you genuinely care for people. You know, they don't have to be in your family or your friends, but I think you are a champion for the underdog is what I'm getting right here. You look out for people. Okay. Let's see what's blocking them. The Four of Cups. I feel like they're complacent. Um, I feel like this person is very stubborn. Um, does not like to admit fault in anything. I, I don't really think that they like to, like the accountability is very low on their end, if, if any, okay. If there's anything that they hold themselves accountable for, um, I will be surprised, okay. Because I feel like this person places blame. And the blame, they never allow it to be laid at their doorstep. I feel like they want to reunite. They know that you guys care for them. They know that they love you as well. But I think they're, they're in denial right now. They're in denial. I feel like they are very worried. They see that you're looking um, gorgeous. They see that you are doing well for yourself. And I think that kind of bothers them. That kind of bothers them. And they feel like you guys will not accept them back. It's just what I'm getting here. They feel like you will not. That you've moved on. That you've dealt with the heartbreak. And um, you're on to different things. Other things. Other than them. Okay. Let's see what your advice is here. Four of Wands. <laughs> Look at this. If there's a relationship that you guys have just started here, the advice is for you guys to continue to be who you are. Be there for the person that you are involved with. Compromise in those situations that need compromising. Build on your own stability. And when you build on your own stability here as the Empress, you will, your relationship will also get stronger here. Okay. Aries energy there. It will also get stronger. So build upon yourself. Continue to build upon your stability, your home, your business, whatever it is that you're doing. It's going to be successful for you guys, okay? So let's see what the advice is for them. The King of Swords.
I think that the advice is for this person to really learn a thing or two. Not only about themselves, but about love, about heartache, about how to how to gain the things that they really want in their life. And it's not involving um, ignoring the things that you feel like are truly um, good for you. Hiding their hiding their head in the sand, um, you know, hiding their nose in a book, or being distracted. Here, I think what their advice is mostly is to think intellectually about what it is that is surrounding them, their choices, their choosing to not see what you guys still have or the love that they have for you, or even acknowledge the love that you have for them, they're choosing, they're choosing to be single. They're choosing to focus on the heartache. They need to turn around and address what the things that, you know, are bringing them sorrow right now in their life, that's making them feel like unemotional, emotionally bankrupt. They need to face the situation head on, okay? Let's see what your outcome is. What will my Scorpios do in this situation? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like as far as this person is concerned, I think you've already made your decision and I think what you're choosing is yourself over this situation. Maybe there's too much water under the bridge here um, that this person was not there for you. But I feel as though if this person came and acknowledged Whatever it is that they have done wrong, if they need to make an apology, if they want to talk things out, I think that um, I think that you guys will be willing to hear it. But overall, I feel like your your decision here is that you're starting over. I'm feeling like you've got you guys have made a decision here that that you're starting over. Building somewhere else. Let's see what they will do. What will they do? Mm. I feel like this person will eventually come to you guys. And you see how this guy is holding this lady's hand. I think this person will realize here with the sun shining in the background that you are what makes them happy in love. That regardless of what you guys go through, you can get through it. All is not lost here. And I feel like, you know, you guys could have this very stable relationship here. So I feel like what they will do is make a proposal. Not necessarily of marriage, but make a proposal that you guys sit down and talk. That you sit down and discuss your feelings. Because right now this person is trapped in their own worry about you know, them deciding to be single. Okay? I don't think they're accepting any other love right now. I really don't. Because you see here, they're the Nine of Pentacles, but coming down here, you know, thinking about this thing, turning around and facing it, you know, here we come with the Ten of Cups. This is the ultimate fulfillment in a relationship right here. All right? Let's bridge this gap between the two of you, see what's going on here. Here we have the Ace of Wands. Brand new start between the two of you. It's what we have. 
brand new start. Like I said, I feel like you guys will be compromising on this side, but this person needs to, to free themselves from their own mental prison here. Show some interest in what it is that they really want because they know they want this reunion. They know that they love you and they know you love them, okay? Two of Cups right there. And Judgment again. They're going to have, this person over here is going to have to be the one, I feel, to decide to turn this around. They're the ones that have to decide to turn this around, I feel. I feel regardless, you guys are going to be sitting pretty with or without this person okay they want this ten of cups here with you they want it with you it's strongly what i'm getting here okay so we have pisces cancer um gemini libra aquarius over here virgo energy and um we have capricorn over here on this side, um, Aries energy, of course, and Scorpio. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you soon.